Alright, hey guys, welcome to the next part of the Final Fantasy X HD Remaster walkthrough. So, let's go ahead and find Sir Orin. And he's, uh, he's repair apparently in this cafe. So, let's go see if that's true or not. Huh, I don't see him. Maybe, uh, maybe you and Artidas have a better eye than me. <sighs> Orin's not here. Hmm. Why not talk, Kimari? Not see Yenke for ten years. Say something. Kimari forget Yenke? Forget Biran? Leave Kimari, Yenke. Kimari is small, Ranzo. Kimari so small can see Yenke and Biran's faces. <laughs> Kimari forget Ronso friends? We taught you much at time of Hornmund. Biran taught Kimari to be strong, Ronso. Maybe taught too much. Take him on. <laughs> oh! Bring it outside. The tournament's starting, you hear? That's the game. Today, on this glorious day, players from all over Spira have assembled here to participate in this great contest of bravery, skill, and strength. All of these fine teams, equally renowned, deserve to win the cup today. Such is the nature of this contest. Let us, the spectators, play our role accordingly. Let us sing to the glory of the winners and applaud equally the valor of the defeated. Contestants, may heaven be with you. Come on, let's go, Aurox. Let's win this one. Looks like the Alpide guy actually won that one. I don't know if they're trying to make it look like it was even. Kamari, but uh, looks like the Albert Sykes got the ball first. And apparently Yuna's gone. Great. Where in Spira have you been? Huh? Yuna's been kidnapped by the Albed Sykes. In exchange for her safe return, they want the Aurochs to lose. What? If they're only Blitzball players, I doubt they'd do anything drastic. But we shouldn't take chances. Let's go get her. I'm going too. This will be no problem. They're telling the Aurochs to throw the game, as if they needed to. 
I mean, how good a team can they be? Waka said the same thing. He'll take care of the game. We should go get Yuna. The Albed boat is in Dock 4. Let's go. Alright, so Yuna got abducted. They want the Orox to throw the game. She's apparently in Dock 4. Somehow we know that. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and try to get her back. So, it's really funny. Because um, the Albed Sykes are probably the most difficult team in the game. Uh, in the later levels. Because, I'm going to be perfectly honest, after the first Blitzball game, nothing is really too challenging. Your fir The first Blitzball game is always the hardest. Um, so, what does this guy have? Damn it, I wanted that stunning steal. Mm, it's three grand though. Thunder Sphere will only be useful for right now. The Rule Breaker is really tempting. I'm just gonna not even buy anything, guys. I was originally planning to. I believe if you're, if you're doing no Sphere Grid, you're gonna need to get that stunning steal. So if you're doing a no Sphere Grid game, definitely you're gonna need to buy that stunning steal. All right, so. Whoa! What are they? Ancient Machina. They are mostly vulnerable to lightning. Yep. So they're just Machina machines. And your main thing for this battle is haste, Lulu. Defend with everyone else and just watch. Watch what happens. So they have 300 HP. This is the reason why I gave Lulu. You see, she can overkill these guys. This is the reason why I gave Lulu that plus four uh, magic sphere. Um. Oh, I thought Kamari had haste for a second, I was about to say. Here's cheer. Okay. See? 67. Yeah. No. Not really working out there for you, Kamari, bro. But, uh... Just attack with him so he gets uh, experience points. See, if you overkill them both, you'll get 20. The good thing about these guys, they drop high potions and X potions. And I believe they could drop... Uh, mega potions as well. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But uh, high potions and X potions are really nice at this point in the game. X potions are always nice. Um, <clears throat> There's going to be a couple more over here. Again, same thing. Haste Lulu. And uh, let her take care of these guys. Boom. 625. Just gonna defend. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Only got 17 that time. I'm not sure why. All right. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's push forward. Two more here. And it's the same thing, guys. Keep hasting Lulu. And she'll make short work of these guys. Just defend. And thunder. Now there's gonna be a couple more. What's up with these guys? Um, yep, same thing, really. I probably should have attacked. How much will T just do? I'm just wondering. 107, okay. So it'll take him, like, three hits. Maybe two and one with Kamari. So. They actually hit. <laughs> zap. Zap, zap. And two more. The Albed were expecting us. They were indeed. <laughs> Let's see. Rule is gonna get one turn. Oh, that's pretty sad. I would take care of this one. All right. Why show me your? Nah, you suck. Man. I'm sorry. Nice critical right there. Good shit, Titus. Good shit. <laughs> 57, Kamari gains a level, not that I care. See, two X potions right there. 
nice and a null blaze shield which I'm probably not going to use but <laughs> it's just good to have good sell I guess the Aurochs are keeping the score tied with some excellent defense folks Ah, but the referee doesn't call the foul. Wack is taking a real beating out there. Huh. Still in there. He won't last. Waka's always like that. Ouch. Let's go. All right, so what you could do now is you can, instead of moving on, you can actually uh, farm and grind these guys if you want for stuff like explosions. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just getting maybe a, a one more battle or a few. I think if you go back here, you'll start spawning. Not spawning, but you, you know, get what I mean. Let me see. Yep. So if you could just go back and you could do the same thing. Hey, Lulu. This will be, you know, some good experience points, but uh, mainly it's for the, uh, what's it called? Oh, she did an overkill, wow. That's sad. <laughs> I'm not sure what the overkill is for these guys. It's probably like 600, yeah, it's probably 600 to overkill, okay. Three high potions, not bad, not bad. Let's uh, let's keep Lulu moving here. God, God damn it! Okay, one second. Do I really need her to go to get mana plus one and twenty MP points? No, I don't. Magic defense plus one, rather. Just so gonna keep her going. Um, right, Kamari. Yeah, whatever. Let's just go. We'll uh, be getting high potions and X potions later on, anyways. So, Just touch that, and let's go. Let's go. How the fuck did Lulu get there? Did we show her jumping? <laughs> what, she just decided to like get a jetpack or something and just go there by herself? Alright. So we are here and... What, what the hell is this shit, man? <laughs> so it looks like they knew we were trying to uh, go get Yuna and they set up some amazing defense systems here. So yeah, um, your one of one of your first hey, we can use this crane. boss battles. Um, you could sh sugar command use the crane. And there's no point really uh, right now. Right now, I just want to get the haste on Lulu. So that'll help. And with Lulu, you just want to thunder attack the crane. Boom. So I highly recommend uh, overkilling this guy, because uh, when you overkill an enemy, they give 50% extra experience points, so you'll get 54 if you overkill this guy. Now, the crane. This may seem like you see this guy has like 6,000 HP, you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's a lot. Um, but uh, this crane, what you will do is once you hit it, I believe, three times with thunder, um, and you use the crane, it'll do like... 90% of <laughs> 90 95% of this guy's HP, so I have no clue why I just casted haste. But, um, why not, right? I right, hit the crane one more time. And this guy has some pretty nasty counterattacks sometimes, so if you hit him, right here, Blitz Ball Rush. Um, just go ahead and whack him, Kamari, why not? Yeah, right here, blind boss, he's gonna get darkness on Kamari. Now we've hit the crane three times. 
let's go ahead and use it. And this will not kill him. It'll always do a percentage base damage. Percentage based damage. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab him and boink. <laughs> and in the ocean that goes. So boom, five three three nine. And uh, overkill is 600, so just to make sure I get that, I'm going to use one focus really quick, because I really want that overkill. So, just pass. Alright, Lulu. It's all on you now. There we go. Got the overkill. Nice. And Yuno just randomly comes out. Okay. Wh wh where'd that guy come from? What the hell? What is this? <laughs> See right there, I got 54 experience, which is nice. A metal, two elixirs, that's awesome. So I believe you get one if you don't overkill him. You get two if you do overkill him, so there you go. I hope you hurt them. A little. What is it? There were these all bad that saved my life when I first came to Spira. They took me on their ship. They even gave me food. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship. But it's not. I wonder if they're all gone. What happened? Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there anyone called Sid on that ship? I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm-hmm. Wait, so that means you're all bed too, Yuna? On my mother's side, yes. Sid is my mother's brother. He became distant after my mother married. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was... Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka, he never had much love for the al -Bed. Whoa! I, I gotta tell Waka. I thought I told you not to tell Waka. The game! Oh. Now, what, 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 what the hell was that? You just teleported? What? <laughs> you couldn't just teleport us to Loka and to all the temples then? Yeah. So you get this 20 seconds on the clock left. Go, Waka. Go, 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 go. <laughs> 10, 9, 8. Oh, what a flip. 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Chapu, he'd still be standing. Hey, aren't you being just a little unfair? Excuse me? I know I could never take Chapu's place. You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's... You don't want to finish that sentence. 
<laughs> Indeed, you don't want to finish that sentence, so... Let's go ahead and head back to the locker room. And uh, I think I'll just go ahead and uh, get to the safe sphere and end the video off. And in the next part, we uh, should be playing some blitz ball. So save it off here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next part.